What's up guys, David Land here bringing you another die cast review, this time on a 118 scale indie car from Greenlight. This is Simona Di Silvestro's TE Connectivity Delara Honda from the Indianapolis 500 of 2015. Now, this car came out in the second wave of uh, die cast in 2015. 15. Uh, it came out at the end of 2015, uh, and it was only released in the 118th scale. Uh, and uh, usually, with the second wave of IndyCar diecast, not a lot of people know about them. In fact, this is, I believe, the first review on YouTube of this car. Uh, so it's fairly uncommon. I wouldn't call it rare. Uh, certainly not as rare as the Jigaloo car. Uh, but uh, I picked this car up, ironically enough, at the Pocono IndyCar race. I got it at the Gutsware trailer, and if you don't know what Gutsware is, they're usually at most races, uh, particularly IndyCar and sports car races, but I've seen them at a few NASCAR races as well. As well. Uh, and uh, it was on a, a discount table, uh, all Andretti Autosport cars, uh, $40. So I got this thing for 40 bucks, which is, you know, $25 off the regular retail price. So, you know, it was very hard to pass up at that price, and it's an absolutely beautiful car, and I can't wait to take a look at it. So we're going to take a quick look at the box, and usually the boxes aren't very significant in green light indie cars because they're usually standardized, uh, but on this car, you do get an Andretti Autosport background uh cardboard insert. Uh, of course, you've got Simona Di Silvestro uh, TE Connectivity Honda. You've got Andretti Autosport on the box, and that's pretty much all of the exclusive stuff you get on it. But if you haven't seen the back of one of these IndyCar boxes, uh, this is what they look like. Uh, you've got the 2014 Verizon IndyCar uh, standings. You've got uh, the uh, Delara exclusive little offer there. Um, I haven't done that yet. I might do that at some point, maybe with my autograph car, uh, the Chevy. And then you've got uh, the best IndyCar race ever, the Indy Grand Prix of Louisiana, and the whole 2014 schedule, and then just a uh, Delara getting blowed up. So uh, let's go in for a little bit closer look on this diecast. So it's a point that's been beaten to death, and it's really irrelevant now, especially because they're coming out with a Honda Aero Kit mold for uh, the first car is going to be the Alexander Rossi uh, Indy 500 winner. Uh, but this car is on the wrong mold. It's on the DW12 mold. This car never ran, uh, or this paint scheme never ran on a DW12. Uh, but like I've said previously, uh, for the Honda cars, I don't mind it quite as much as I did for the Chevys in 2015 because the Honda kit was really just kind of an upgrade of what Delara was doing with their aero kit. And then when Honda took that over uh, for their Honda cars, uh, they really just took a lot of the concepts, particularly from the oval version of the of the Delara kit. So it's really not too bad, and we're getting an accurate kit anyway. So there we go. Uh, but seriously, I love this diecast. Love, 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 love it. It's fantastic, and that's not just because I'm a Simona fanboy. Uh, it's because the color scheme on this car is absolutely stellar. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up quite as well as it does. Uh, in real life as your eyes pick it up in real life um, but the orange is just the a color of orange you rarely see uh, particularly on die cast um, it's it's very much uh, a like a mango orange it's very very bright and yet it's it's a uh, it's not like into the realm of like it's a yellow car it's very much an orange car uh, so it just is just a great looking paint scheme uh, and certainly uh, you would have thought that this car would have uh, been a little mix, bit more successful coming from the Andretti stable, but in 2015, uh, the Hondas were really out to lunch at the Indianapolis 500. This was actually part of um, a five-car team for Andretti at the uh, Indianapolis 500 that year. Uh, it was Simona in the orange car. It was Hunter Ray in a yellow car. Uh, Andretti in a uh, in another yellow car with blue trim. Then you had Munoz in a green car or a white car with green trim. And then you had Justin Wilson in the Rolling Stone car at the 500. Uh, then he ran the blue and silver car for the rest of the year. Uh, but yeah, five car assault, uh, pretty crazy, uh, especially considering that they uh, had only had a five car assault this year because uh, because uh, Brian Herdup bought or uh, got bought out by Michael Andretti in some ways. Uh, so let's start uh, talking about some of the sponsors on this car. Oh, you've got special Indy 500 tires, and uh, you guys may not remember this car, or maybe you do, because the one relevant thing this car did do in uh, pretty much the whole month of May was uh, 
crashed into Juan Pablo Montoya on a restart and uh, knocked off that uh, those very always fragile bumpers uh, that seem to fly off at the slightest bit of contact. But anyway, uh, yeah, this was the, that was the most significant car uh, thing this car did. Uh, so I'm pretty sure .ch is Swiss, and I'm also pretty sure that TE Connectivity is Swiss, and of course Simona Di Silvestro is the Swiss missile. Uh, so certainly uh, she uh, got some good. Uh, uh, Swedish or uh, Switzer, uh, Swedish Switzerland. Uh, good sponsors from Switzerland. How about I say that? Um, but I love the fact that there's uh, printing on the uh, on the driver uh, enclosement here. Uh, the, I guess the horseshoe you could call it. Uh, very very nice silver, uh, and the design is very nice. Uh, Andretti Autosport did a good job designing this car because I love how the silver comes down from the side pod and onto the sponsor blocker here. Uh, you've, it's interesting also to see how they had to integrate the Firestone logos because the Firestone logos are different um, from where they would usually be on a DW12 chassis but to try to make it accurate like a, the Honda chassis, the Firestone on the Honda Aero Kit is, is here so they put it there on the DW, DW12 so it looks a little bit different. Uh, TE Connectivity, I actually have a friend who works for TE Connectivity uh, and they actually got to meet Simona so that's pretty interesting, uh, certainly very cool. Uh, a lot, I love how they put some of the sponsors on the uh, on the mirrors as well. Very nice looking. Then you've got the Verizon IndyCar Series logo, the old one, and Simona Di Silvestro's name with the uh, Swiss flag. Now the interesting thing about that is um, that when I did my Newman Haas review of Michael Andretti, his name appeared on the uh, rollover bar of that car. Very similarly to this, and of course Michael Andretti owns Andretti Autosport, as you could probably imagine. So it kind of looks like he took that from the Newman Haas racing team. So some stuff from Newman Haas still exists. Also interesting to note how far the Honda logo is over on the engine cover. That's because uh, on the Honda Aero Kit, the 2015 and 2016 one, there's a very large fin that uh, kind of extends this uh, engine cover quite a bit. So uh, the Honda logo is on the very edge of the Dallara uh, engine cover because that's not really how it is in real life. So uh, very nice looking. I quite like this car uh, because it's just a nice scheme. And as always with these Indy cars, uh, if you can get a deal on them, do it. Because eventually they do dry up. There's not a lot of people who buy these cars to resell them, uh, kind of like it is in the NASCAR world where there's people constantly trying to buy, sell, and trade uh, NASCARs. Generally when people buy an IndyCar diecast, you can see shop.honda.com as well on there. Um, generally when people buy IndyCar diecasts, they buy them to keep them in their collection. So they don't come up all that much, despite the fact that they're usually produced in similar uh, product numbers to uh, the comparable NASCAR diecasts. Uh, but these don't come up as much, so when you get a chance to get them, you should definitely go after them because they do dry up and you cannot find them again uh, without paying some pretty high secondary market prices for them. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I just decided to bang out a quick video today. Uh, NASCAR 15 will be coming on Wednesday and then the Pocono vlog, uh, my IndyCar Pocono vlog, will hopefully be out Thursday. I'm also looking for Wave 6 of the NASCAR Authentics. I know you've already commented that and left the video by this point, but whatever. Uh, I'm still trying to find the Denny Hamlin, so when I find that, I find that, and I'll get that video out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube. Be sure to like the video and comment down below uh, if you did watch this and enjoy it, because that always helps me out. You guys know this, and you guys are very good about that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.